No, you have got... Is that a red or a black eye? I think you have got a black eye. By the looks of it, so I'm quickly going to check on this book. Red eye. So if it's got a red eye, my money is on the Shikra, just judging by size. Um, yes, I think that is what it is, a Shikra. Just so the way the easy way to tell and I am hoping that I'm not going crazy is the ra the eyes are red and the tip the legs are yellow and the just the supercilium or that little part on top of the beak that is yellow so it's a good way of defining them had the eye been yellow then maybe it would have been something different like a little sparrow hook so i actually when i saw it flying i thought it looked a bit too puffy to be a a dove and i thought it, it was holding on to something but it seems like maybe not so here's a cool little one to tick off our lists in case you are keeping a list and uh, a nice one, a nice little raptor flying around. I think maybe he was blown away by the wind and that's why he had to go back onto the branch of the tree to <laughs> protect itself. I mean, look at the wind blowing the branch and its feathers. It always reminds me of that Bob Dylan song, Blowing in the Wind. <laughs> this this currents of air in this wind, if the breeze gets a lot stronger, then they're going to struggle to f uh, to flash around. So likely we're not going to be able to see too many birds. Oh, off it goes. Seems like somebody is struggling. We're not going to be able to see too many birds as they fly away. George, you say it almost looks like a dove. It does. It's great. Now, let me show you here on the book. Oh, I lost the page. Well, that's not ideal. What have I done? I've gone on to falcons now. All right, there we go. I was just on. So there were a few options that we could have played around with. So this is the one we were looking at, the Shikra. So uh, easy way to describe it, as I said, you can look at it's got a red eye, yellow top of the beak, and then the legs are yellow as well. So that's the little one that flew on top of us, and then it had those that bearing that's not too perceptible all around its chest now it's quite a common species of bird around here i think maybe this is what it was because all of the other options don't seem to be what it was now i'm counting on the eye being red so if you guys think that the eye perhaps was not red you can let me know and then we could see what else it could have been but i think that was pretty much what it was judging by all the different options that we've got over here on the book so